Sure, but uh, you know, this one just screams uh, They think like him. They're like, yeah, we need to counter this. Uh, TNC decided, you know what? We're just gonna put this Lycan on the off lane, and now we have a better carry to carry matchup where Juggernaut just doesn't feel comfortable at any stage of the game playing into Ursa. You should have known this. Yeah, all your thoughts combined are my thoughts. It's my analytical opinion, and I'm also gonna go for TNC. Yeah. Oh, yeah? I'm learning. I'm learning. Doing a lot of it. On to game number two, TNC Vice. It's all TNC in the first game. We'll see if Vice can change that up a little bit, get a bit of a, bit of a better laning stage and more of a chance, honestly. They seemed like they got pretty far yeah. behind early on in that first game. They definitely do You're have a better up. chance in this game. <laughs> I said it at the end of the first game. It was one to blame it on the draft now. Like, you have a lot of boxes checked where you have a good team fight, like, oh, you have Palos. Already trouble. going down for first blood. Armel gets it, and that's first blood for the mid. A D ward here from Zenki, so something in return, but you're losing your jug that early on. It's always this. devastating. And we've seen it be overly devastating before. It's something that you don't want to happen, you know, the give the enemy the mid, mid laner advantage from the start. So he is bringing Mango, no Kali Recipe, and the Tango doesn't have the Shadow Strike. So this will benefit Kunkka. Step lively we'll now. Give him like Your Admiral is on board. One minute to be able to CS a bit harder, a bit more than he usually can against the Queen of Pain. Which of these three lanes, as we've got them all on the screen right now, is most important for Vice to turn their tides, to turn their fortunes around and kind of get ahead here? I think they have good kill potential on the bottom lane. Juggernaut playing into two melees with the Grimstroke. I'm not a big fan of Grimstroke getting Inkswell level one. And this is something. All right, come on out. He's dropping. Chase by Febby all the way. Never really stopped and already a 1k lead. He had that Thunder Strike, threw it onto this. To use the Boulder Smash to slow down the Disruptor just wasn't enough, though. To go back to the talk about Inkswell, don't do it. It feels like it's a good spell to take, but don't. Like, it never is. It's, let's compare it. It's a 30 second cooldown compared to Stroke of Fate being 11 second cooldown. You cannot get secure the range creep with the bulls you get so much more damage and it just doesn't feel that great i can understand like what he's trying to do i'm gonna use install with the blade fury but it's just not good like sometimes most of the time you want to save your spell until you see what happens with the rim stroke big stroke so he's gonna one big courier Andrew's courier, Bob getting chased, Armel, Gabby dropping very low. Gonna go for this, Gabby also low. Gabby trying to help out, but there's the spear, Andrew. Can he get out of Gabby? There's the roll, and the connection. Samael died before, but gets revenge and takes out Gabby. Ooh, boulder smash, baby. Andrew with God's rebuke under the tower, he'll survive. And two kills there for Vice, maybe a little bit. Over anxious for TNC. There's a car. Baby pulling off. Well, I guess I'll just die there. I think he died there on purpose. Uh, can't kill the bottle. Yeah, we filled the bottle on a mid lane. Uh, you had no mana, no HP, just to boot the speed. You have to use the courier, so it's really not uh, worth to actually live in that lane. And he got some solo XP as well on top of that. Tactical deaths. Gabby getting pressured once again, and this is without the disruptor to help. Down to about a third health, but now finally the disruptor is there. Not just certain they can get either of these. Then we have Glimpse and Thunderstrike. 
And we'll use that glimpse looking for the roll. Now hits and connects on to Febby. Gabby questioning whether or not he wants to go over and participate, but being under half health is certainly a deterrent. Ernst needs to be careful. There's a ton of harassment coming out of these two heroes. Step lively and now. they have Your no admiral is on region board. left whatsoever. Only one tango. X mark. Kunkka will TP back. This is the power of mid Kunkka, where you can always use X mark TP back. Buy the items, come back uh, almost full HP to the lane. Invisibility. Just walking Step up on now. Your admiral is okay. on board. Eats a Tidebringer. Doesn't get hit by that torrent. Did have Impale to work with. Could have just thrown the stun. Maybe even hit a spike carapace on that Tidebringer, but chose to do nothing and just got into the face of Bob. A very aggressive build from Queen of Pain. 202, saving one point in case she needs a blink. Actually puts another point in Scream of Pain. I don't think I've like, ever seen that. On level 6, most of the time you want to take the ulti, but Ooh. let's see if this one results in a kill. But uh, no blink to finish him off. There's no blink to finish him off, but he is costing so much money in regen. And now, baby, he gets caught on Ryu and Senael here again to take out this Disruptor for the second time. Well, Impel, Inkswell, not gonna help Pals catch anybody. He's looking for the 5 minute down here, and he'll secure it nonetheless. Still though, TNC holding strong with the 1k net worth lead. Five minutes into the game, so they've gotten that advantage a little bit early. Tiger hits both Baby and no. Another the bottle will fill for Queen of Bane, and she will also be able to pick up the Valkyrie on the east. Still just sitting there. Interested to see how our Mel approaches this attack on Bob come level six. Because he's been 50 or so health away, and yeah, he'll forego the Sonic Wave and pick up Blink at six. Yes, you don't have enough mana to use uh, Sonic Wave either way, so you're like, I'm just gonna skip it anyway. Okay. I was wondering if he might just take a third level in Shadow Strike and do the Ultra Greed no Blink. <laughs> now, your Admiral is on board. Rune spawning, it's top haste rune. Armel has the vision of it. Kanka CS, not the greatest. Queen of Pain has almost the same amount of nice as Kanka has CS. Back up towards top on Ryu though. Is not really too worse for where he's got five on charges ready to use a PB. Coming through mid, Inkswell. We have pain now hit by that cool Inkswell pops. And down goes Armel. Meanwhile, Gabby in the top lane. Vice grab a couple of big ones with the rotation from Zankio for me to help out Bob. It was all Armel mid until that point. Yeah, Vice playing much better though than the previous game where they're making some aggressive moves. They understand yeah, how much pressure they need to put uh, on the lanes. And now Juggernaut on top of the CS. Just, you know, becomes very hard for anyone to play the bottom lane once Juggernaut hits the level 6. You know, they just hit the bottom lane so I'm not sure if they're getting the skill, probably not. Fury and the available. A little jelly food radiant side. That'll help out both the jug and the kunkka if that's where it's placed. Arcane ring for the lichen. How's this offlane lichen going about his life? You know, Very still good. necro three, right? Yeah, you just get that necro three. Uh, pretty much you're doing the same job as the safe lane mid lichen, mm -hmm. uh, just a bit worse. You know? It's like you know, me being an analyst, uh, doing a top tier job, and then you have Black, who's, you know, uh, a bit below me. Just getting shout out to my boy Black. We'll take credit for that one. Kimmy trying to get a return killer, do something with this first shape shift. Tim's also nearby, but a geomagnetic grip will stop Tim from throwing a stun. However, it's not gonna matter. KP gets credit for the kill onto Anryu's Gabby joins in. Meanwhile, Sonic Wave, bottom, Zanky. Nice. Yeah. 
fade Get from chase memory. down here by Armel. Finally, level 7 has that sonic wave. Not a lot of mana to work with, but just enough there for the blink and separation away. Armel looking like, at least for the moment, he's taken over bot and swapped his lane up a little. Tensi really taking a good care of Armel. This is the third time they reached out his model. Your Admiral is on board. <laughs> After straight at the old center, remove those silences, great against Kanka, dodging with a nice mark combination, and also has an ability to stop the DP. 6 4 in favor of Vice. This game's in about even in terms of network. Jug leading the way so far. Goes Midas, Palos, and then into the uh, Maelstrom by the looks of it. that queued up? We'll see if he finishes it. Dyer's top tower is yeah, okay. In I mean, not the standard stuff. We'll see how that's gonna play out. So good timing on a Midas, but uh, it's not like Juggernaut needs it. You can uh, get Maelstrom, like Power Dread's Maelstrom instead, and just keep farming. Yeah, that build a little bit, roll all the way over. A few magnetic grip and boulders, and not the chase. They've also got the axe. Surviving for now, but it was just a shot more needed to get the kill, but he's in the vendetta. They've used the dust, it doesn't land up, but Nixie Sassy, they get the kill to Zenki. Now the look over at Armory, who throws the spear and lashes up Gabby to the edge of the cliff. That's right there. Armory's finally falling. Two heroes dead on Vice. They also catch the glimpse on a Samael. He will roll to the high ground, but not far enough away just yet. Armel right on it. So all one roll, so this should be a kill. Let's see if they have enough damage. All right, and he's out. Just keep me out, it's that easy. I love the build of the in this game. No shenanigans, I'm playing this up five. Uh, oh, Tibbs! Passion with the Vendetta. Wow. Sorry to cut you off right there. Yeah. To go back to Fabi's skill build. Don't want to put second point in Thunder Strike. I'm just playing position five Disruptor. Want to have that glimpse maxed out because whenever you're playing Disruptor, you want to have a good vision. Someone who's going to provide stuff in the front line. Now you have Lycan, you have Nick, Assassin, you have things out. Nick, Assassin, Nick is very dead. Wave Fury right on top of him. Just throws a sudden bomb on him, trying to extend his life, but it's not going to do much more. Get him out. Doesn't save the tower. To take the mid tier one. We need to stop tower Palace is in danger. Doing that healing wave. That maelstrom still with that Midas. He's behind though. Medium He's behind Armel. But he is ahead of both the Lycan as well as the Ursa. Gabby's game seeming a, a little bit slower than the rest. And this is not going to be the greatest time on the Battle Fury. Still needs uh, a lot of time to recover. I'd say Vice played the lane correctly, putting a, a lot of pressure on Ursa and just delaying that battlefield as much as possible. But uh, there are multiple heroes that they need to focus in this game. It's an offlane Lycan that's still gonna have 12 minute Necro 3. So this is where the threat comes from. You know, KP can be the one just buying time until Ursa recovers in the jungle. Allison on new would now go for the top tier one. They took out the mid tier Radiant one. To Two or multiple towers. Tim's just sitting bottom, getting some experience going into the Yules. He was holding a thousand gold before, bought that step of wizardry. So this is a Nyx assassin that has a decent chunk of farm. He's a thousand ahead of the Earth Spirit. That is a uh, very rich Nyx. Blow him up. Tim's can only just watch and run. Dyer's top that vendetta and backs off. This time around, they don't have two saves that they had in the previous game. Touch Snowball plus the Oracle Ulti. So everyone needs to be a bit more careful. Permit spotting anybody. On Ryu throws that spear out, I believe. Spotting him for a second, the sentry on the high ground. Thank you. We're already on the Necro 2, about to finish that Necro 3. Obviously no boots up to this point, but the Necro 3 timing's not 
terrible considering the offlane like it. That would want to push some towers. Bottom tower is very low. Smoke being used by TNC, so this is where they want to take a fight. That's right to KP. Bob in trouble. The impale hits from Tim. Static storm down on top of him. They get the kill on the Bob. They are losing Armel in the process. Armel gets that and will most likely be traded here. Trying to roll though. Nobody steps in front of him. In two heroes around. Now they've got this glimpse with the impale hitting from Tim. That'll secure a second. Yeah. Coming with the arena. Doesn't oh. catch anyone. And now it doesn't have any mana to use the spear. They've got the yeah. dust on Nyx Assassin, who will try to TP away, and you dusted him, but they don't catch <laughs> That's unfortunate, really. Like, they should have got him at least one kill out of that. Also, unfortunately for Queen of Pain, she played very aggressive, while your Scepter, the last component, was being delivered, so she did not have a defensive tool for herself to buy a bit of more time until she connects with the rest of the team. Yeah, the silence is coming in from Samuel as well as Zanki. Your Admiral is really helped just control Armel. They use that magnetize, they get the kill. Samuel does it end up dead, but he did help get that kill on Armel, not not a life lost for nothing. This is still continuing to buy some space for Palos, who will have this. Maelstrom finished off in uh, just two goals. He's ready to go, going to the Ags next. He's getting a lot of space. 9-9 right now and only a 1,000 net worth lead for TNC. I like the space that they've been able to achieve. Even Talos. Look, this hand of Midas actually paying off for him. I personally am not a big fan of Midas in general on certain heroes yes in certain situations but uh, this time around they're not punishing it Ooh, and, uh, he's getting away with that so hand of Midas into Maelstrom Maelstrom got buffed in the previous patch uh, deals well with the Lycan and the Sun Aghanim Scepter is also fine you know just have that ability to use Omni Slash two maybe three more times if you count in the ulti in a team fight I can understand like why, because you're playing into Ursa as well, so you might try to play in rage. Missing, going for our mouth. They've got the silence. The boat misses too. Bob trying to get a little creative with how he goes after the Queen of Pain, but it's a uh, swing and a miss on that one. Yeah. I was about to say, you know, imagine missing a Torrent in 2021, then I realized Step I played Kanka the Your other day, and uh, people can check my game history, and they would go, yeah, dude, but you missed, like, four, because I was a bit rusty, you know, didn't play Kanka in a really long time, maybe this is also the case here. I was one of those heroes that played when I started Dota, and I missed everything. Nothing has changed, huh? No. Not at all. I still don't know. Lycan with the ulti. Cut the arena down, but again, it's not around anybody. On the move. Just has to turn tail and run, but he doesn't do so. It allows him to get glimpsed back. Spear thrown hits Armel. Not gonna matter. The impale's there. Tins gets the kill onto the Mars. Space is what you could chalk that up to if you want to look at the pot. It's a little size for Vice on that. You can always go with space. That's your excuse. Ursa is recovering nicely. Yeah, he's got that Battle Fury ready to go. Going into the BKB Bash next. Pretty standard stuff. Coming on to Cabby's Ursa. Uh, laying stage didn't go too well, so now it's time to hit some creeps. And possibly, if they take a good fight near the Roshan, just transition that into Roshan kill. You have Lycan, you have Ursa, two of the best heroes to take down Rosh. Step lively now. Your Admiral is on board. mid. Smoke. Armel. Roll. X. This is a man. Now for the Queen of Pain. Got the X. They call Got the silence of the Queen of the Ursa. Got the silence of the screw and they've leashed him up, but it's not going to be enough to get the kill out of this Queen of Pain. Since his courier dies, well,
Samael, he loses his life. Spear forward, but on just right into the hands of the Ursa. Getting way too aggressive with that. everything possible to make this a victory for TNC in this fight. And that just pushes them up towards the 7K lead margin. That, that three-man stun from Tim's was impeccable, and now two-man shoot might get a grip, but he sent out. Leave the Marmel not in front of him. However, they'll pull him back. Three-man stun with the X swell. Now the stroke of fate. Who's got to confuse Tim's is finally wow. dead. The spear comes in, and they'll make it a second. Roll forward looking for Armel. Roll is ready to grip. Silence out of the pain of pain, but Armel blinks away, and while all that's happening, Roche goes into the hands of TNC. As I said, a couple of kills, they turned that into Roche while the rest of the team is keeping them busy. So good stuff coming out from TNC. All that kind of backfired because Kanka didn't hit the X mark into Torrent once again. And Queen of Pain managed to live on like 100 HP. Sonic Wave, so that's uh, a lot of damage. I think it connected on the three, maybe even four heroes. Now working towards BKB. Once she gets that BKB, doesn't have to care too much about those spells. Like, needs to be careful of the Juggernaut's Omni Slash. The runes are spawning. So like it's just going to be two for two trade. Illusion. Gonna talk about Kanka's item build. He's going for Heaven's Halberd straight away <laughs> against Ursa, against Lycan. Sure, it's fine. Kanka's it's one of the first that can build whatever and also feel a very good. Or he's not like a spirit list, so Your uh, armor is on for some cheap damage. And then a shot hits Anryu, misses the impale though. And they're, they're scouting with the Vendetta, they're scouting with the Wolf, they've got the Blink as well as the Spear and the Excel Ocean combo. Zanki gets Step the kill on the Tins, who Your just reaches is out a little bit too far. So, they try to cut into this lead. It's an 8k lead for TNC, and they'll pressure the top tier too. They've almost got this Ags on the Jug. Meanwhile, KP, he's going Ags himself. He wants to bite some of his friends. Now this is the same fight me as he takes it literally and gets that agonist. Arena down around Femi, Static Storm though committed. Femi trying to survive as long as he can. The cheap ship is used by KP. He'll get the kill on a Zanky. Femi is getting low. The spear hits. It will connect and take his life. The palace is gone. The buyback on the disruptor. Anru blinks onto the cliff and just able to TP away. Meanwhile, Yules. Coming through from the Queen of Pain of Armel, they've got the silence, they'll stop the TP and they'll take out Samael. KP now on a mega kill streak. He's 5 0 and 4. Getting closer and closer to that axe. That axe. Yeah. I, I like how DNC just approached this draft. We're gonna first phase Lycan, there's Kanka, there's Mars. And then they shift Lycan on the off lane, pick Ursa, and Ursa is their now. big Your win condition here. He's probably just gonna bite the teddy bear. For enemies. So that's gonna be really scary, you know. I wanna see that. Uh, it's something that's uh, kind of mean, but uh, can work out. I like it. I was a fan of, I've seen it a couple times where it was like Lycan Monkey King as the combo. And the Lycan would just bite the Monkey King and make it pretty disgusting overall like who, who would win in a real fight let's say wolf for some reason finds a bear and decides to bite him like bear would just rip him apart right well then then there's no way wolf it, it's like you know that one the only thing i'd say to that is wolves usually are not by themselves I mean, that's, not fair. that's like playing dota one versus five <laughs> you know we're, we're talking about the straight one versus one 
mid grizzly bear against uh, let's say a silver wolf yeah man, there's no doubt you about it me? i would Come definitely give the polar me. bear on it polar bears are gruesome <laughs> let's say <laughs> albino polar bear against the wolf that polar bear's got it pretty easily too polar bears are massive 11k lead for TNC. Just a, a one-sided affair so far up to this point. They're seemingly trying to wait on uh, what Palace can bring as he's got the from as well as the Axe. But going on to Andrew. They'll have the silence. The Geomagnetic Grip as well as the back of time that comes through the team as well as Armel. Armel falls on the Sonic Wave. Andrew falls. Lucia comes in. And a bit on the Tim. They are locked together with Soulbind. Armel. Should be able to get away as the spike character is locked up. Bob for a second. Now their attention's on the Femi for the moment. Samuel and getting chased by KP. They got themselves the double for Armel with a move at Bob. And make it a double for Gabby. Poor heroes down the side of Vice. There's no one for It's going to be a full That's all you might have missed. He gets the kill. They're all fighting for it. Ends up being Gabby who secures the triple. TMC is in the mood you know we lost the first series in the dpc league uh, we can play better Dota than that and we'll show you right here right now and uh, this is exactly it uh, they might have possibly like one maybe two more fights because they're still tier one tier two towers bang on the top tier two towers on the bottom uh, so they can't just go in and end the game but the uh, full set of racks is for them and Lycan finishes his Aghanim Scepter. Now it's time to bite. Add another to the tally. Which is not a time I want to be around. I'll tell you that much. I don't want to get bitten. Although if it made me lifesteal, I think I'd be more about it. And there he is. He bites Gabby immediately. Sonically comes in over the pal. They get the kill on the jug. Oh my just god. Blew. Hey, look at Bobby. He's broken. Bobby, stunned. You're done. And run down. That is a pouncing wolf. Stop with man. the Earth Shock, it's even more gruesome. And he's going to chase this Grimstroke. Pounce on top of him. Go for the juggler. juggler. Oh, I said that word horribly wrong. But uh, yeah, Gabby has the triple and he's down. Um, this is actually insane. You have Lycan with. Crit, dealing extra damage, uh, max attack speed, slow, and the bash. This this is actually insane combination. And yeah, the pounce, pounce I said, it's, it's just our shot but when he's in the wolf form, it really does look like he's pouncing on top. No, and the Grimstroke ulti, you know, will not do that much. You can't leash this dog. <laughs> you know, it's too scary. That's good, I like that. He's coming in massive with the Vice Geomagnetic Grip. Gabby on the run. Four heroes committed now, making it the fight. Bit. That's ready in the air. Let's go. The rules are going to the spear. They've got the other guys going to the There's a fight on the Gabby. KP will also shape shift. They don't get the kill onto this Earth Spirit. On the slash. KP. He's down for the count, but so is Palos. Gabby just hits so hard. Pops the DK. The look over it on for you. Take out a third. Zanki, as well as Bob, who's here with the spike carab, is going to go from Armel. It's well possible. It doesn't land on anybody. Gabby jumps Zanki in the back line. The roll is in. The magnetize. They're going after this. Ursa. Jorms here with the turret. Now the silence on the Bob. Stun comes in from Tim's. Ursa ripping through these heroes beyond Godlike. Backs off for the moment. He only has 200 health. But Bob, I don't know if he's going to make it in the base. Bane the skill oh. so badly. Armel. Right back, fire, BKB, and Yule Zephyr now. She's fine. Didn't have the mana for the Sonic Wave. And there's the blink away, and the Abyssal finished on Gabby. Well, you that said wolves usually come perfect. in a pack, and we see here two wolves just uh, attacking that. Uh, who are they attacking? There's no animals. Just humans. On, yeah, just humans attacking the human village. <laughs> they stand no chance. Just hop by our mail, they get the kill of the pals, they take him out for 65 seconds. Gabby back in on this one. He is a wolf bear. Big bad wolf. Super 
serious and going for more. Andrew now stunned up. Armel just throwing out some right clicks. Trying to clean up this Mars while Green Stroke gets chased down. And it's another four, make it another T1 for TNC of 29,000 gold. Just 28 minutes into the game. Overwhelming vice. You know what I always game say, around. when it's time to call it, it is time to call it. Go for the tier fours, the glyph is there, maybe one more fight, but down by this much, it's going to be a struggle of an exchange for Vice overall. And I'm not sure they can really do much, I mean, the damage that just comes out with these two wolves, the spare wolf. Now Gore spent all that time trying to uh, remind us of the man there, Pig. He no, should have been getting us. That, you know, he was a half bear, half wolf, half man. Uh, kind of hard to play into that. It looks too scary. Should have been warning us of this. Watch out, waste. Slip slash on creeps. About 30k. And Roche about to respawn. So. They could go for it or they, they could are a shit! Oh, the abyss. Oh my god, Unreal! It's just no surviving when you have the walls are coming for you! Zeki drops four heroes. God, Blade Fury, it may not even help you inside your own well. You'll jump around, you'll extend your time, but it's a full team wipe for TNC to really put the dagger into this one. Ultra kill for the Ursa of Gabby and a 2-0 victory for TNC over Vice Esports. It was all TNC in this series the entire time. It's the half man, half wolf, half bear coming your way and no way it's to get away from that one. to fight it. Uh, yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it, uh, this, you know, combination between Ags really good. coming out from Lycan and the Ursa seems like the best one. I don't think you can have a better combination. I don't think so. That was a pretty stellar combo, especially showing off in the second part of that game. And the damage that Gabby was doing was uh, atrocious, and there was no answer from Vice. It was really a pretty one-sided affair. I'll say it again. And all TNC, they're angry. They, they want to show that that was just a fluke. We've heard that word in the past before explaining uh, some of these Dota games.